Welcome to Bible Answers. The question today is, how do you respond to Christians who say as long as we Christians believe in the Trinity and that Jesus died for our sins and preach the gospel, let's just put our theological disagreements aside. Different denominations teach God's word differently from other denominations. So how do we reconcile this? Well, the Bible must be our guide. If everybody were to base their faith on the Bible and the Bible alone, instead of bringing in traditions, then everybody should have the same teaching. If we go to Timothy, then Paul admonishes his young brother. He says, Till I come, give attention to reading, to exhortation, and to Doctrine. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you by prophecy, by the laying on of the hands of the eldership. Meditate on these things, give yourself entirely to them, that your progress may be evident to all. Take heed to yourself and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this you will save both yourself and those who hear you. So doctrine is obviously a very important issue and doctrine needs to be taught and set in right settings. If we go to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 it tells us that all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. And then it says in chapter 4, verse 2, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, convince, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and teaching. For the time will come that they will not endure sound doctrine, but according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they will heap up for themselves teachers, and they will turn away their ears from the truth and be turned aside to fables. So doctrine is obviously an important issue, and we should be careful that we preach sound doctrine. Is it important whether we do something this way or that way? Well, one of the examples used here is some baptize this way and some baptize another way. Well, why is this? Some people baptize by sprinkling an infant. Some people baptize by pouring water over an infant's head. Some people baptize by immersing an infant. Some baptize adults. Some put them under the water once, some three times, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Some sprinkle adults, some pour water on adults. Which is the right way to baptize? There should only be one way. And when you study the Bible, it tells you that Jesus went into the Jordan and John the Baptist was baptizing there because there was much water there. And he went down and he came up out of the water. So that is one single immersion. That's the way the Bible teaches. And nowhere in the Bible do we read about infant baptism. So the Bible should be the criterion and that should set the standard for doctrine. Now why is it that some cling to one form and the other to another form? Why is it that some accept that you must have adult baptism by immersion and others not, because some cling to traditions which have a long history and which it is hard to sever oneself from. But the biblical criteria are very plain. If everybody followed the Bible, then everybody should be in harmony. Some say the law has been done away with. Jesus says, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, not the least stroke of a pen, not a dot, not an I, not a comma will disappear from the law until everything has been accomplished. Heaven and earth will disappear, but the law will stand. Now, does the law stand? Did he come to abolish it? Clearly not. So if we use the word as our criterion, we would come into harmony with its principles and there would only be one doctrine. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. The disciple says, he who says he loves me and keeps not my commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. So these are issues that are very plain in the word of God, but are not so plain amongst different denominations. So take heed to the doctrine, and then we would know what the Bible teaches.